Churches are getting creative with holding outdoor drive-in or other types of services during the coronavirus outbreak or taking their Sunday morning worship online for the faithful who cannot gather together right now. Our Mark Martin explored the dynamics of these new challenges with William Vander, Vander Bloman, founder and CEO of Vander Bloman, a Christian executive search firm who works with churches across the nation. You are also a former pastor and you work with church leaders across the country. So give us your take on what's happening and how pastors are responding. I think this is everybody's saying it, but unprecedented times and particularly what I find unprecedented is the fact that uh, pastors in moments of crisis are used to gathering their people together. I, I remember when I was preaching the Sunday after 9-11, we didn't have enough chairs for the room. And so now you've got this pent up desire among believers and people who are thinking about believing for the first time. They all want to get together and they can't. And so pastors are having to scramble and find ways to virtually get together. So it's, it's been interesting to see the innovation uh, but also to just sense this pent-up energy. I know the, the president has mentioned that the economy has a pent-up energy. I can't wait to see the pent-up energy to get together once we're able to finally gather again. Yes, that is so true. God is still working. He is still on the move. What do you think going forward as pastors and congregations adapt to a new way of doing things? Will, what will be the greatest challenge for pastors to shepherd their flocks in these days? Well, some of our clients, we, when we started our search firm to help churches find their pastor, we were a fairly new idea. And historically, new ideas in churches are not uh, roommates, shall we say. So, so the first people that hired us were very innovative. And those, those churches have been online for a long time. They've been doing online giving for a long time. And frankly, they're not missing a beat right now. Uh, there are other churches that are really having to pivot hard, and they haven't pivoted in a long time. So that's just difficult. So I think I think everyone's scrambling to find ways to to create more agility. Uh, we've got one client of the Moody Church in Chicago, very historic, arguably the first mega church in the country. That Sunday we'll be voting on the new senior pastor that we helped them locate, and they're going to do that congregational vote virtually, which would have been un heard of a month ago at that church. So I'm seeing churches new and old stri uh, try to find agility to meet the moment. But I'm also finding that as good as the internet is, it's just not a replacement for getting together. So I think we've got a bridge and we've got a band-aid and that's good. But you know, the first thing God said in the Bible that's not good is he said, it's not good for us to be left alone. So I, I, I tell our clients all the time, you know, this internet and meeting online is awesome. What a great thing that God provided it for this moment. But really, if this were the greatest way to do it, Jesus would have just Skyped it in and wouldn't have <laughs> come down here on earth. So I think we're all longing to get together and trying to find the best way to do that when we can't. Well, what about all the ministries that churches provide in their communities beyond Sunday morning? Yes, I think pastoral care has become really difficult here in Houston. Uh, we're on, they're not calling it lockdown, they're calling it uh, stay home, work safe. And uh, pastors are allowed to visit, but only less than six feet away and under certain circumstances. Uh, and the sick and the dying uh, want a pastor around them. This is particularly uh, tricky for folks that have a funeral and they want to have a service, but they can't. And then the few that get together have to stand six feet apart. So it, it's a very real challenge for pastoral ministries. But on the flip side, uh, some of the other ministries are really doing well. I know two of my teenagers tonight are going to their Wednesday night Bible studies on Zoom calls. And they've never done that. They've never used Zoom before in their life. But, but the church is pivoting and figuring it out. You know, the mm -hmm. church always finds a way. And, and this is going to be a moment when the world sees us shine, not hide. That's right. God is in control. Our small group is using Zoom. Now, you say the faith sector contributes more than a trillion dollars to the economy. Could that be at risk, especially when it comes to giving and keeping church staff employed? I mean, weren't churches already using online giving? Does that help at all? It does help. Some churches have moved to mostly online giving. You know, the summer giving slump that used to happen really doesn't happen much anymore because most people aren't relying on passing the plate. Uh, a very, very critical moment is today when the Senate votes on this bill. Just in the last 12 to 24 hours, uh, the Senate chose to include churches alongside the same provisions as small businesses. 
So it may be that this federal relief will actually allow churches to cover their payroll from mid-February through June, and that would be a huge relief. Uh, however you feel about the bill itself, it would provide immediate relief to churches, Christian nonprofits, and Christian schools. Uh, as far as giving goes, you know, many, many studies that I've read have said the closest our nation has ever gotten to tithing was in the height of the Great Depression. So I think you're going to see maybe not the amounts of giving, but the sacrificial giving that we all want to see. And we know God honors that more than the amount. So I, I just really feel uh, bullish about the ability of the church to rise to the occasion. That's right. Just like the widow's might. All right. William Vanderblumen, thanks so much for your time and your insights, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me and God bless you. You as well.